All right, this is the unit called the real numbers. So we're going to build up to that. And we start with how to use integers and rational numbers. We'll talk about both of those, but let's back up a little bit. What are the natural numbers? Well, the way to remember that is how do you naturally count? And when you naturally count, you go 1, 2, 3, 4, so on and so on. What are the whole numbers? Well, that's just the natural numbers. Plus the number 0. So, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, dot, 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 dot. And integers go both ways. Negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, dot, 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 dot. So the integers include the whole numbers. The whole numbers include the natural numbers. Uh, something that always pops up is the number 0, negative, or positive. Well, it's neither. It's in between. So what are rational numbers? Well, again, we look into the word. We have the word ratio which means fraction. So generally speaking, they are decimals, decimals or fractions, where the decimals can be represented as fractions. So for example, 0 0.8 is 4 fifths, and 0 0.3 repeating is 1 third. And these are both rational numbers. Now the rational numbers also completely include all the integers, which include all the whole numbers, which include all the natural numbers. So if we were to chart them, we would have the natural numbers on the very middle. And we add the number zero, and that would give us the whole numbers. Then we add negative numbers. And that gives us the integers. And then we add basically fractions. And that gives us the rational numbers. So it's just a good way to think about them. Now, when we have two numbers, how do we know which one is greatest? Well, after a little while, you can just look at this and you'll know. But if you ever get confused, Draw out a number line, one of many mathematicians' favorite little tools, but not mine. I'm not a big fan. Put zero in the middle. You know that it goes one, two, three, positive one way, negative one, negative two, negative three the other way. And greater is on the right side. So, which is bigger, negative 3 or negative 5? Oh, pardon me, or positive 5? Well, here's positive 5. Here's negative 3. So 5 is greater. Than negative 3. How about negative 7 and negative 3? Because that one can be very confusing. Where we go negative 7 and negative 3. Therefore... Negative 3 is bigger than negative 7. Again, once you practice, you get pretty good at it, but it's handy to have a number line the first few times you do it. Now, there are two types of rational numbers, which I just showed. 
they are repeating. And that was 0 0.3 repeating, which hams equal one third. And they are terminating. Like 0 0.25 is one fourth or five fourths, which is 1.25, or the number four. You could write as 4 over 1, but we just write as 4. Those are all terminating. So as practice, which numbers are whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers? Well, you write what's in the most, what can fit in the most outermost box. So for example, 0, you could call it a, uh, pardon me, what would fit in the most innermost box. You could call it a rational number. You could also call it a whole number. Uh, an integer, you could also call it a whole number, but you couldn't call it a natural number. So we'll say this is a whole number. It's a decimal, so it's clearly irrational. This is a rational, rational, and this is quite boring. So let's say this was negative four, and that would be an integer. Now, you can easily line them up using the number line, but first you have to take any fraction and you can use it with your calculator. In this case it's negative three quarters and I know that three quarters is 75 cents so it's negative 0 0.75 and put them in order. So this would be negative four then negative 2.1 then negative three fourths then zero then 0 0.8. Simple enough. And again with a little practice get that no problem. What's the opposite of a number? Well just put a negative out front. If there's already a negative, then you change it to a positive. So the opposite of 7 is negative 7. The opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. And last but not least, what is the absolute value of a number? Well, first off, the symbol are two vertical lines. And secondly, we define it as positive, so it's always going to be a positive number, distance from zero. So again, you can pull out a number line. I'm going to make a very simple number line. So we have 0, we have 12, and out here we have negative 23. Well, how far is it from 0 to 12? So the absolute value of 12 is 12, a piece of cake. And how far is it from 0 to negative 23? Well, the absolute value of negative 23 is 23. So if it's positive, leave it positive. If it's, a neg if it's negative, make it positive. That's it. Good luck working on the problems.